just a layin' and replaying that look upon your face. Your life is content. Hello guys, good morning, welcome back to my channel. Um, and yeah, as you can see, I'm currently back home in Shenzhen. Um, and I'm supposed to stay here for a week to spend time with my parents But today like both my parents went out for work um, So it's kind of a me myself and I situation um, But it's alright like I'm going to some places. I have to get some work done as well um, So first of all, I'm going to a co-working space to film a brand collaboration Which is due today um, and then after that I'll probably go to a cafe or a shopping mall with my friends um, Yeah, so that's pretty much the agenda for today and I will just take you guys along <laughs> Okay, so I got to um, the co-working space, but I'm having some issue, like, opening the door. Oh wow, this is so nice. I have my own meeting room. Alright, I just got inside the meeting room, and all I want to say is that everything is so automated here in Shenzhen. Um, yeah, I was literally mind blown, even though I grew up in Shenzhen, but still a lot of changes have happened. Um, like Shenzhen is one of the fastest um, developing cities in China um, and it is just incredible like, it's, it's almost like reverse culture shock you know like every time I go back home um, so basically I found this co-working space on WeChat and then I placed a booking using the mini programs on WeChat which is kind of like um, a micro site and you know after I arrived at the door I just have to click some buttons to open the gate um, and it's very easy for me to navigate um, to contact the customer service as well um, yeah it's just truly mind-blowing like I mean Singapore is very advanced but um, like just some extent I feel like Shenzhen is a bit more like automated and everything's just kind of like, integrated uh, into one app um, so yeah a lot more convenience okay so, so this is my easy camera setup for the shoot today and you know since I'm traveling to a bunch of different places I was searching for international money transfer <laughs> Joy D. Joy D. <laughs> uh, and now I'm just going to meet up with my friend and then we're gonna go for lunch. So now we're having lu rou fan, braised pork rice. Such a crazy meal. Look at this. Yum. Okay, so I just went to one of my favorite fragrance stores um, and their fragrance is just absolutely amazing. So I ended up buying two bottles of perfume and two bottles of body wash. But the thing is that when I was about to check out, I realized that my credit card, which is city credit card, couldn't be used like here in China. Um, but gladly I have my friend who literally saved my ass. Yeah, I didn't know that I couldn't use my credit card um, like in China, so... We are now headed to a cafe that got beautiful ocean views um, but I just feel like I didn't show you guys a lot about Shenzhen in this video because to be honest the weather these days has been pretty depressing um, like it's not raining but um, I haven't seen the sun for the past few days ever since I got back um, and I just feel like Shenzhen would have been a lot more beautiful if it's sunny so yeah that's a little bit sad I hope I can see the sun at least once before I head back to Singapore that's definitely one of the most famous landmarks of Shenzhen. Um, so basically, it's a it's a it's a ferry that has been parking there for um, I don't know how long, um, and it's called Hai Shang Shi Jie. So the literal translation will be Sea World. I'm really in love with this neighborhood because it's got a bunch of like chilled bars, restaurants, and then the ocean is right over there. Let me take you guys to the ocean front.
just had a super productive afternoon. Um, I was able to finish a lot of stuff. And then I also booked my flight tickets to Surabaya, which is very exciting. Because um, I'm going to travel there to see the volcanoes later this month. And now we're headed to a restaurant for dinner. Wow, that's very convenient. So it's super easy for you to just rent a power bank from like the kiosk here. <laughs> So now we came to a sushi restaurant which is much more premium than Genki Sushi uh, which is a lot more common in Singapore. Um, and I just feel like the sushi rice is slightly different from what we're used to. It's much darker um, so I'm not sure if they soak it in like vinegar beforehand but it just tastes super super good. Oh my gosh, look at this sashimi, it looks amazing. Damn, that's so thick. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, I'm so full after um, the meal just now. So I'm just gonna bike home because uh, I do have to meet my parents uh, just to spend some time with them since I don't have a lot of opportunities to come back home. And I'll be flying back to Singapore within one week time. And then I'm just gonna do some handover stuff because some other exciting things are coming up. I'll probably talk a bit more in another video. But that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright, peace.